This is an early alchemy experiment. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense them close. Calamine and orpiment oh. are given, and the cuprate binds them well. Oh. This time I will attempt the uh, uh, aqua regia instead of aqua fortis, and hope it will produce a more even solution. Oh. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except oh. as a detergent. Well, that's so useful. Organic tissue reacts especially violently oh. to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Oh. Chemical relocation. Oh. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on oh. many of my less stable, stable ingredients in the storage. Oh. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will de be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. Oh. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, oh. I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. Oh. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, oh. I know I'm better than the others. Why? I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Wait, wait. What well, horrible things? I don't know. Oh. Wilhelm's contract. Oh. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander. Baron of Brennenburg, that's the Alexander we have oh. in This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall be returned to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within oh. the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Oh. Wilhelm, House of Gerich. Oh. Oh. Local folklore. Oh. Altstadt and Brandenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. Oh. That's Alexander's oh, castle. Right, right. The quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as it can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. Mm -mm. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. Oh. The, lots of the stuff. gatherers, yeah. Oh. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years War. Oh. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods oh. and were forever dying to roam the grounds. Oh. Their bodies rot by their Painted souls have left them oh, oh. empty of essence. I'm not sure why. What does that mean? Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. Oh. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. I don't like that! It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside dead oh. lap sacks, dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, oh. the well-known... Oh? Visited Alstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for revenants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of at the time. Yeah. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Oh. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed. Dismissed? He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? Oh, oh there's so many oh. folklore. The mortal baron, the baron of Brennenburg lives... Uh, that's Alexander. Alexander! Lives a reclusive life oh. with his family at the castle nearby Alstadt, and like most of the noble, noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. 
Researching the history t reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire oh. in the late 16th oh. century. It was oh, rebuilt oh. by Alexander. See? Mm. By Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the rule as protector of the Prussian state. Oh. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander has and his offspring oh. has never been fully recorded. Oh. Yeah. This is fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, oh. lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. So then he's immortal? He's been around for a very long time, maybe. Oh. Oh. Wilhelm's last words. My name oh. is Wilhelm, House of Jurek. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Oh. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle of Brandenburg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what this supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The uh -uh. Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. Curiosity is not good. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. It dawned on me that the nature of the conduct was sordid and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans oh! upon the, his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within no noble society. Oh. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Not a very good person, mm -hmm. huh, Will? Mm -hmm. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, oh, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Why would he accept uh -uh. this wholeheartedly? Uh -uh. Tonight the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. Uh -uh. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine and my men drank without restraint. Uh -uh. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bolts. What? I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer. Oh. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. Oh. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for for the last 20 odd years. Is it the same as the one? Maybe. Oh. It is as inexplicable oh. as the heliodromus described in the it in the Hortus Conclusus. Hi. It was as it it was as it was told about an underground mithraic temple crown with the unearthly artifact. Mm. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Mm. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Astop. I'll stop. Investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally oh. found the cavern, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. Oh. They were real. Why? As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but has also become my greatest oh. fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the cha chamber and into the woods. Oh. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I think this is not good. Not good, not good. Uh. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. Oh. I tried to warn them as I passed, but, um, but fortunately, they remained... Fortunately? Yeah, they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous oh. sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. 
Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned dark. Charcoal black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched oh. land as the glowing amber gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away oh. across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The guardian had taken the orb from oh. me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. Oh. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstadt. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich oh. Cornelius Agrippa. Ah, oh, anatomy for tears. I don't think this is good. Oh, this is 1658, January 9th. Oh. Oh. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate oh. more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice oh. as they will prove less of a hassle to oh. acquire. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spawns centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even a wa wasted a breath, oh. yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Oh. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that game. Oh, jealousy. Oh, Sounds like what's it. this? Oh. 